What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Man, wide receivers, man. I tell you what, if you got your kids that are playing football, make them wide receivers. Don't make them running backs. Make them wide receivers because this is really insane, the amount of money that wide receivers are getting, and I can't wait to see what C.D. Lamb gets. And as we've talked about on this show, um, as well as a lot of people have, um, about the reality of waiting you know everybody's waiting for justin jefferson uh to get his deal but other contracts are being done in here and you see the bottom floor has been raised up we don't know what the ceiling is going to be right now but the more that bottom floor keeps rising up the more that ceiling is going to go because this is this is amazing when you think that Tariq hill is getting 30 million dollars a year with the miami dolphins now Jalen Waddle has signed a three-year, eighty-four million point seven five deal contract that includes seventy-six million guaranteed. I, I don't know why you just don't the other eight and a half million. Why you don't just guarantee that too? I, I just don't understand that. So he's now the fourth highest paid wide receiver at twenty-eight point two five million. Wow! So he is just like right behind Tariq Hill right behind Tariq Hill. And this is another case where the price is continuing to go up for Justin Jefferson and C.D. Lamb. Um, unfortunately, the Cowboys, you know, are also, you know, you hear, I don't know why the Cowboys haven't signed, the, you know, this guy to a deal. Why haven't they got the contract? Well, it's a two-way street. You may be motivated to get this thing done. Maybe they're not. I don't know. But you also have to wonder, is the agent buying his time? Because it's like, you know, if we wait another couple more months, it might be another three or four million dollars. And since I'm getting 10 to 15 percent, that's more money in my pocket for me to wait <coughs> for Justin Jefferson to get his. You know, you look at it from C.D. Land's standpoint, um, you know, the Cowboys have been great if they could have rushed and gotten his deal done before Devontae Smith, who's getting 25 or uh, and things like that. But you look at the agent, his job is to maximize the amount of money that he can get for his client. And so he can advise him and say, yo, bro, let's take our time. Let's take our time. Let's wait. Now, on the flip side of this, there's always... The doom and gloom. You know, when I watched this morning um, the Pat McAfee show where they had Mike Farello in there, and they talk about things in here like it's an absolutes, like the NFL, that this is all the money that there's ever going to be, and there's not going to be the increase. It's funny because if you go through history, you know I love history. If you listen to the things that they have said, over and over again, they keep repeating the cycles. Now, with Dak Prescott, he's the only guy they say you can't pay, that it hampers you from winning. Although, they'll turn around and other guys get paid and they don't blink an eye, okay? So, when they were saying that you can't, you know, once you pay a quarterback, you, can, you won't win and things. When Kirk Cousins was getting paid a fully guaranteed $28 million, then the market reset to $40 million. You know, you know, now Daniel Jones is getting 40 million and he's a bum. Kirk Cousins got a torn, ruptured ACL. I mean, a ruptured uh, Achilles tendon coming off of that. He's getting 45 million a year. That 28 is so far in the rearview mirror, it's not even funny. And so the numbers keep going up. And what I want you to remember here is how we as the fans are now being held upside down and shaken so all the change falls out of our pocket because now you know it was one thing for me to say okay let me go ahead and get the sunday ticket with you know youtube tv that's great so that way i got all my games on sunday okay and you think you're covered it's like oh but i gotta have i need an amazon prime account so i can get thursday night football even though it's not real good right so you think okay i got thursday night football i got the sunday ticket and then all the other games will be on cable tv uh I, yeah, no no bro no then we throw in playoff games on paramount and now we're talking about christmas games on netflix so 
all of these things, all of these changes are more money. More money. All of the gambling and parlays, more money. 18-game season. And here's where you have to really look and say, oh, my God. The NFL, if they go through from a 17-game to an 18-game season, it's not just one week. It's two weeks because they had a bye week in there. So if you talk about 17 games or and adding two more weeks, what is that? Two, two seventeenths? Two seventeenths more income. And when you're talking about billions of dollars, that's more money. And all that money translates to a higher salary cap. The salary cap blew the expectations out the water. Now, they're trying to say, oh, well, the salary cap's not going to rise, but, you know, a couple million dollars next year. You watch. It's going to rise by about 20 or 30 million. And so as we're arguing about, you know, a few dollars here, a few million here and there, in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to matter because early projections before the pandemic were the salary cap would be around $470 million by 2027. When you hear things, when they say that by 2027, that franchises, the average worth will be about $8 billion, which is close to what the Cowboys are worth now. The reason why they're worth more money is because they're making more money, which means the salary cap will go up. And so that's where you look at it and say, yeah, um, CeeDee Lamb's number is growing, but CeeDee Lamb's number at the moment is 17 million. They can get his deal done and actually create some cap space now and roll it over into next year. So that's my take on all this. Yeah, you would be great if the Cowboys had gotten CD Lamb's deal done six months ago and got him for, you know, 30 million instead of say 35. But if four or five million dollars kills you on the cap you're going to die anyway and remind you cowboys are going to get some extra cash on saturday yeah buddy they're getting an extra nine and a half million dollars and actually let me look at over let me see over the cap i don't know how many teams um how many teams have players that were just june 1st cuts um cap space right now boy this is slow to load today must be because I'm in Eagles territory right now the Patriots are sitting with 45, 46 million commanders at 43 we're sitting down here at 3.8 million okay um, the Bills the Dolphins Seahawks and the Giants are all behind us but we're going to get that 9 million dollars now I don't know where um, others are going to go, but that's going to put us about the middle of the pack. Uh, we should be uh, ahead of the Browns. The Browns, Raiders, Buccaneers, Broncos, Rams, Falcons, Jets, 49ers, Panthers, uh, Ravens, and Saints will all gain ground on those guys and have some money to work with. If they get CDs done, then all of a sudden you're into the... Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're in the top eight. And cap space. So there you have it. All right, good people. I got to go grout this floor and then I got to go to Home Depot and uh, get some stuff to fix this awning out here. As always, you know, I appreciate you. Peace.